Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. Welcome back. We are doing a super fun Scentsy haul today. So Scentsy recently came out with some new fragrances for the summer and I have some to share with you. <laughs> I always get excited about their new collections because I really do think that Scentsy comes up with some amazing fragrances. Um, I, and, and I love their bars, you guys. Honestly, as far as like wax melts go, like Scentsy has been my go-to for a number of years. I don't sell it. Um, I have no interest in becoming a, a consultant. I, I don't need another thing on my plate. Um, and besides, my bestie Lisa sells it and I just get everything through her. And um, yeah, I love supporting her. So if you don't have a consultant, um, you can go on the Scentsy website and I believe you can type in your zip code and you can try to find someone that lives within your area. Um, but you don't have to find someone that's local to you. Um, you know, if, if you want to shop with Lisa, I will put her information down below. She is fantastic. Lisa also has a YouTube channel and she shares a lot of Scentsy information over there. So definitely go check her out. Um, and I just, I love supporting one of my best friends in the whole wide world. She's, she's an incredible human being and I adore her. So, um, you guys, let's get into the new summer smells. I have some cle cleaning products, um, and I have some bars to share with you guys. So I have all of the bars from the new summer collection and I picked up a couple of extra bars as well. Just some things that I have been, um, wanting again and some new things that I wanted to try. So um, yeah, uh, let us get into it. I'm going to start with the Scentsy Laundry Detergent. I tried the Scentsy Laundry Detergent a couple years ago. I started out with the pink cotton, still one of my favorites. Um, the Scentsy Laundry Detergent is fantastic because it's extremely concentrated. So for a full load of laundry, I use like three pumps and that does incredibly well. And a lot of times, well, not all the time, sometimes I will add in the washer whiffs as well. The washer whiffs are great because they're essentially like a boost of fragrance. So if you have certain loads, maybe like your, your towels or your bed linens that you want a little bit more fragrance with, you can add the washer whiffs and get that added boost of fragrance. It's just like the uh, laundry boosters that you buy at like Target or Walmart, right? From Downey or um, who else makes them? There's the Unstoppables. Is that from Downey? I don't know. Anyway, I don't use those. <laughs> I, I'm a convert to the washer whiffs. I really prefer this format for sure. Um, but the laundry detergent is fantastic. Um, I add the the washer whiffs in whenever I do my gym clothes <laughs> just to like, you know, uh, if there is any uh, load of laundry that requires a little bit of extra fragrance, it's definitely my gym clothes. So it's fantastic for that. I don't ever notice any kind of buildup on my clothing. They, they're different from like the like plasticky washer things that you get at the grocery store. They, they basically look like salt like it looks it looks like epsom salts so yeah you just you just do a scoop or two of this in with your laundry i have a front loader so i just pop this into the machine before i add my laundry and then just three pumps of the laundry detergent and that does an average load like i love the laundry stuff so not i'm not trying to sell you on it i'm just telling you that it took me a while to try it but once i did i was like this is really good um i typically will use the method free and clear laundry detergent for craig and stella's laundry because they don't really like that added fragrance um i do use the laundry detergent on our towels as well as our bed linens um I typically won't use the washer whiffs for the added fragrance, but they have no problem with this because it's not, it's not insanely strong or invasive. It's just this nice kind of whiff and it keeps your laundry fresher longer. So anyway, um, big fan of the pink cotton, huge fan of the new Magnolia linen. If you haven't tried it, ugh, I've been using that for the last like several weeks. I love that one. Um, Fiji flower was also a favorite of mine. Um, oh, he's so cute. I have my assistant Alf back here. He brought a toy in to keep himself busy. He's so sweet. He loves, 
Oh, he just, he's always with me when I'm filming and it just melts my heart. It just, it honestly reminds me of Mr. Kong. So he's always here anyway, cause he's hanging out back there now. So, um, anyway, before I start crying, let's get into, <laughs> I still miss my dog. I do. We're coming up on a year and that is definitely weighing heavy on my heart. So, um, we'll deal with that later. Okay. Sensi laundry liquid. They have a new fragrance and I wanted to try it because it sounds so like fun, delicious, amazing for the summertime. This is cucumber and cactus water. Um, I really like the aloe water and cucumber. Is it aloe water and cucumber? No, I can't. It's one of my favorite bars. I don't know how I'm just spacing on it. I'm sure it's aloe water and cucumber. Love that one. I love the cucumber note in that one. And I love the cucumber note in this so um i have the washer whiffs here so i've i haven't opened the laundry detergent i need to but oh man you guys this fragrance so fresh so clean and very summery like this is this is a great laundry detergent i if they decide to like clearance this one out, I could see myself buying a couple bottles of the laundry detergent just to have it on hand for the future. This is really, really nice. Big fan, for sure. So I have the laundry detergent. It's nice that the laundry detergent comes with this pump so you don't have to mess with like measuring it out or anything. I just do three full pumps. If I have a really large load, I'll do four pumps, but you don't need any more than that. So this 20 ounce bottle should last you quite some time. You should be good to go for a little while. Also, they came out with a new counter clean fragrance and I love the Scentsy counter clean. I, uh, for reference, have granite countertops. Um, this never leaves a haze on the counters. It leaves them shiny. It's These usually smell amazing. And the fragrance of this one is the Feeling Punchy, which smells like the most delicious fruit punch Oh man, this is going to be, this is so good. There's also a bar, so we'll talk about the fragrance notes when we get to the bar. But yes, love it. And I think the packaging is super fun. I don't know. I'm, I'm a sucker for the packaging. I know you're not supposed to be because it's, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. But you know what? It does for me. So I'm okay with that. Also, picked up another uh, pack of the Palm Beach Breeze uh, dryer discs. So as far as laundry stuff goes, this is a, I just, I use both. You get a pack of two and um, you just pop these into your dryer. It's basically like adding a dryer sheet for added fragrance, but these are reusable. And ugh, this Palm Beach Breeze, you guys, this smells so good. This is very summery. I love this one. Um, I'm at, I actually got this to replace the one that I currently, the two that I'm currently using in my uh, dryer. Now, in between uh, laundry loads, uh, the way that you can extend the life of these dryer discs is to store them either in the coordinating um, washer with fragrance or um, sometimes I will even kind of mix them up, but this sort of extends the life of these. I usually keep these dryer discs around for at least a couple of months, and in between loads, I always pop them in here. Um, you literally, I just, I, because they're plastic, they're hard, so I just stick them into these like salts, and it re-ups the fragrance, and then when I take them out, I just take a paper towel and brush off that residue, pop them in the dryer and they're good to go. And it's a great way to, like I said, extend the life of these. Um, yeah, I don't always use these in every single dryer load, um, but if I want some added fragrance like for bed linens or for um, specifically like our towels, I will pop these in and it's just, I think it's better than using a dryer sheet. It doesn't leave like that dryer sheet residue on the towels or bed loans. There we go. Okay, you guys, let's talk. Um, I'm going to pull up the fragrance notes so that we have the actual notes. Um, let's talk about the new fragrances for summer. There's some yummy stuff in here. Um, I think one of them is definitely club worthy for me. So let's start with that one. Let's start with the best. And it is peachy and palm trees. Oh 
you guys, this peach, it's the same peach I feel like that they use in the peach nectar Scentsy Bar. Delicious. Stop, it's so good. All right, let's pull up the actual fragrance. Oh, of course it's at the bottom. Here we go, peachy and palm trees. Sweet peach and mango add a tangy twist to smooth coconut milk. Mm, yeah, this peach is a ripe, juicy, like, like middle of summer peach. So good. And the mango reminds me of the mango that the mango scented body wash from the body shop has. If you've ever tried that, this is that same mango note and it is juicy, super ripe, mouth watering, delicious. And there is, you can definitely get that little bit of like creaminess in here from the coconut milk. Stop, this is so good. Oh my gosh, and it matches my delightful tie-dye shirt. It was meant to be, totally meant to be. I did not plan this, but yeah. Get it, it's so good. I love that. My second favorite is the Kukui and Coconut. So this has um, coconut, Kukui nut. So tropical coconut and kukui nut on a soft bed of jasmine. There is a slight floral note in this, but it's definitely in the background. This is mostly a delicious coconut and like a nuttiness. I've never really smelled a kukui nut per se, but it, but it does have a nuttiness to it. This also, for whatever reason, reminds me of the snowberry scent. I don't know why, but if you've ever tried snowberry, Will you tell me if you think that there is some kind of weird crossover here? They are not at all the same fragrance. But something about it just reminds me of Snowberry. I don't know why. Oh, but I love this. This is so good. Yeah. Gosh, this might also end up in my club. If this doesn't go in my club, it's one that I will do like several six packs of just to have it on hand for a while. Feeling punchy. So this is the same feeling punchy from the counter clean. Oh, okay. Fruit punch, like super sweet, mm, probably borderline cloying, but not cloying in a bad way. Just, I just, I'm trying to stress how sweet this fragrance is. It is like, it kind of makes your mouth water and like pucker at the same time. Like this is slightly sour. Um, it has this really nice tangerine, very nice tangerine, and that is definitely the first thing that you smell in here. There's also pink lemon and a splash of fruit punch. It's like Hawaiian punch on roids, like so amped up, <laughs> so sweet, so it smells delicious, it really does. I love this. Now, I love sweet scents. I would not recommend this for someone who uh, can get headachey from really sweet scents. Um, I would not suggest this for you, but the rest of us who can tolerate this level of sweetness, get it. This is really good. And then we have, from the laundry line, um, cucumber and cactus water. Oh, this is so fresh and so clean. This is a very zen kind of spa-like fragrance to me. I see this being amazing in bathrooms or in laundry rooms even, and your notes here are pretty simple. Crisp, crisp cucumber wades into refreshing cactus water and sea salt. And there is kind of this weird like salty note. Um, Salt doesn't typically have a scent, right? But when you go to the beach and you smell the air, like there's just, there's this saltiness in there. It just smells like salt. You totally get that in here. You get that crisp, refreshing cucumber. And then that cactus water, which comes across as a zen spa-like type of effect. Maybe slightly floral in a way. But, no, but this is not a floral scent. This is mostly a fresh, crisp, clean, amazing scent. This is so good. Highly, highly recommend checking this one out. And if you like it, get it in the laundry detergent because it's delightful. And then just a few other bars that I also tossed in because, you know, why the heck not? Uh, pink cotton. I love pink cotton in the laundry line. That was where I started. 
It's amazing. I love this one for the laundry room. It's a very feminine, sweet, girly laundry scent. Love this one. Stella likes it too, but um, she actually likes this one warming in her room. But strangely enough, she does not, she does not want her laundry to smell like it. <laughs> a very particular daughter. Um, clothesline. So I've never tried this one, and I don't know. The older I get, the more I expand my fragrance tastes, and I used to never love laundry scents. I'm starting to get into them. This is nice. This is like that very typical clean laundry scent, like you're drying your clothes outside in the summer sun in a field of flowers, and you just, at the end of the day, stick your nose into that crisp, clean laundry. That is what this smells like. It's heavenly. Highly, highly recommend. I don't normally love lavender, but I wanted to give this a go because like I said, I'm expanding my tastes. So let's try it. Whipped vanilla lavender. Lavender is normally way too astringent for me, but I, I like fresh lavender. It's when it gets dried that I think it's much more concentrated. And a lot of like lavender fragrances smell like that really astringent dried lavender like very intense this is more of like a fresh lavender with a creamy vanilla and this is the type of lavender that i think i can enjoy so i specifically bought this for our master bath because i thought it might be a nice way to like wake up in the morning you know go into the bathroom and smell something that is soothing calming lavender is really great for sort of like calming your senses and so I thought this would be a good way to start the day. So we're gonna give it a go. I'll let you know if it affects my mood, hopefully. <laughs> I like waking up in a good mood, but that's not always the case. Because the older I get, the more I hate waking up in the morning. And I used to be such a morning person, it kind of actually breaks my heart that I am no longer the peppy morning person that I once was. Who else got into their 40s and went from morning person to like, I stay up really late now. Like a lot of times I don't fall asleep until midnight, which is way later than I should be getting to bed based on when I have to get up to get Stella off to school. All right, this is Sparkling Magnolia. Now, this is, I have to say, this is great in a laundry room. This is great in a powder room. But this is one of the weakest bars that I've had from Sensi in quite some time. I put this in my dining room and it really kind of got lost in there, but the fragrance itself is really lovely. It smells like a really subdued, beautiful, white, clean floral, but very subdued. I would say don't get this if you're looking for a powerhouse from Sensi. I think you're gonna to struggle to smell this like I did, but it's great in a powder room. I have been using this in the downstairs bathroom. I actually got a couple of these. Um, I just, I assumed I would love it because I love the uh, Magnolia linen scent so much. I just, I think I'm really into Magnolia right now. Um, but yeah, really nice in that powder room, but not a smack you in the face kind of fragrance. So that's normally what I go for but it's just really pleasant. So if you're someone who doesn't want something super intense and you like florals, you should check this one out because it's really nice. And that's it, you guys. This is the haul that I have for you today. Um, let me know what you picked up from the new summer collection. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Check out Lisa. Like I said, if you don't have a consultant, she's fantastic, but you can also you know, check out the Sensi website, see if there's anyone in your area and connect with them. But yeah, I really love Scentsy. I, they make great products, and um, yeah, I really enjoy supporting my friends. So anyway, have a great rest of your day, and um, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.